Okay, before I shut the lights off, I was going to show you what I got. I got this AC Variac, 120 volts, 120 volt uh, positive 10,000 volt output transformer here. Um, just to show you the amount of power I'm playing with with this transformer, I'll go ahead and give you a little demo of what this is. And this actually looks like capacitors charged up and then these are discharging okay so there you go okay so that's that's the potential that I'm playing with here alright but this won't arc it's not quite enough voltage to where it arcs all the way across so let me go hit the lights alright so I'm going to go ahead and turn it all the way up the first thing I want you to notice is that bottom plate and I know it's not easy to see but right there you can see some marking that's that I really think I got some oil or something on there so if we get just to the right spot and again this is hard to see but if we get just to the right spot uh, you guys just aren't going to be able to see it again kind of like last time one of the problems is those LEDs are right in my way but if we do get to the right spot there you can see it there's this nice discharge oh, let's see here right there I, I can see it real easy you guys this camera lens is filtering out the UV so you're not gonna be able to see it very well but there is a nice Corona field there, and here on this side, unhook this fan. I got. Yeah, you just aren't going to be able to see it. So my apologies for you guys not be able to see what I'm trying to tell you, but there is a really nice Corona discharge there. So this power supply, it's going to do what I want, but this arcing down here, I got to figure that one out. I really think there's oil on there. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, enough wasting your time trying to capture this because you just can't see it. Uh, let's see, right, right there. See that real faint line? It is really hard to see. There's a real faint line. And that faint line you see is actually Corona discharge. Maybe able to hold it up here. We don't get zapped, huh? And look down this hole. Yeah, yeah, you guys just can't see that. All right, let me go take the lights. Okay. Yes, I have no hat because I know you guys really like this this look. Um. So, um, yeah, I just really wanted to quickly let you. Wow, that is bad. I'm gonna get my hair cut real soon. Better put these on so I don't lose my face. Anyway, um, really quickly, I want to let you guys, uh, I'm going to inform you of how this device is supposed to actually function really quickly. I'm not going to go into detail. I'm just going to tell you how and why I'm trying to do this. And I can smell that. That ozone is really strong versus the flyback transformer. You can't really smell any ozone at all coming off this. It's like a, it's, it's not the same effect. So whatever this power supply is, and I can't find any good numbers on it, um, it's a good power supply. So really quickly, the inside wire inside this device is positively charged. Okay, so that's why I couldn't get a good uh, shot of it because the LEDs are in my way. So the um, inside is positively charged, and so the negative electrons are going to be attracted to it. Okay, so they're attracted to it and they get pulled off of the oxygen atoms all right the, the negative electrons get pulled off the oxygen atoms so you have a positive um, ion I guess oxygen ion and the negative electron is then going to travel up through here because you're you're constantly pushing air through this it's going to travel up through here and inside this hole is is that grid that mesh grid you can see it in there and that mesh grid is tied to this terminal all right 
and you apply a positive potential here. So those negative electrons are floating around and they get to that grid and if this is a positive potential, opposites attract, so the positive gets sucked into that grid and gets pulled out. And then what you're going to do is uh, you have an incandescent light bulb over here that's going to be literally burning the electrons off. So when, what you have coming out of the top of this is just positive ions, basically. Um, so that's the basic theory. The LEDs, I'll go through that really quickly. Basically, if you have a certain wavelength of light, well, let's start over. If you have let's say a neon sign transformer what is that neon glow that you see it's gases being excited by high voltage okay and whenever uh, electrons jump valence rings they admit a photon okay so that's where you see that light and different colored light is from different colored gases they, they the electrons jumping different valence rings give off different light frequencies okay well you can do the opposite you can inject light at the certain wavelength of whatever these LEDs are. These are uh, 535 and 403 nanometers. I believe those are accurate numbers. You can look up my website for those. But whenever you, whenever you do the opposite, whenever you send photon energy into an atom, which in our case it's going to be the oxygen, for the EPG it would be argon, and you have to have a different wavelength of light. So I'll have to build a different array for this. So in order to, to uh, apply those certain wavelengths of light to the gas it helps the process so you don't have to go into such high voltages for ionization because you're helping the ionization process with light I did read an article I posted it over at the forum somewhere I think it's under the light and energy thread but I read where uh, people were actually using uh, or some scientists was using pure UV light to ionize gas I mean, it, I'm sure nature does it all the time. Guaranteed they do. It does. And so, in order for this gas gun, you know, to work with the LEDs, that's why the LEDs are here. Can you do without the LEDs? Probably. Does it help? Probably. But you got to get the right wavelength. So, it's a matter of helping out the process, okay? That's it. I'm going to let you guys go. I know you really like my hair. It's uh, going to get cut off sometime. But, uh, makes me look more scientific. Yeah, not really. So anyway, Russ, RWG Research. I got a lot of research to do now. And uh, continuing on as normal, trying to get this stuff to where we want to be. As I do more testing, I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know. But, you know, a good amount of testing just happened lately. So that's it. I'm going to let you guys go. This probably was a two-part video. Make sure you watch the other part. Blessings. Thank you for your support. Uh, I don't really know if you guys... Um, get tired of me saying that, but hey man, you gotta say what you mean, so thank you for your support. Blessings, have fun, be safe, play safe, don't get hurt, invite people to join the forums, and make sure you sign that petition that allows our internet to be free, okay? Thanks. See ya.